Hello oh, YouTube, what is up? Untied Hawaii here coming at you with another video. This is actually episode two of a new series I'm starting up called Untied Ask, where I ask the audience basically a whole bunch of different questions about sneakers or sneaker related things and see what the best answers are. And the question that I asked this time around was, what is your billion dollar sneaker idea? Some of the answers were actually very, very smart and then other answers were just, yeah, they were answers, but they weren't very good answers. But before I get into the billion dollar sneaker ideas, I do want to let you guys know that today's episode is actually sponsored by Rose Gold and Black. Rose Gold and Black is the premier minimalistic jewelry company that I personally love, guys. I'm actually wearing a piece of theirs right now. This is the wing necklace, which you guys can see on screen over here. Very, very nice piece, and I just love the minimal aesthetics of this look. Their jewelry line is very, very affordable, which I think is the best thing about Rose Gold and Black, man. The affordability. Not only does Rose Gold and Black have necklaces, though, they have a whole bunch of different jewelry on their website. They got bracelets they got rings and on top of all of that the prices are very very affordable and because you guys are viewers of the untitled warrior channel i gotta let you know that rose gold and black is having their end of the financial year sale where you guys will get 25 percent off when you guys use the link in the description below and if you guys use the code untied you guys get an additional 10 percent off so it's a great time to buy right now so don't forget to use that link in the description below anyway guys i think it's time we get into some of the answers so what is your billion dollar sneaker idea and starting it off the answer that i saw the most upvoted was actually from william turner and his billion dollar idea was make the sneakers app work for everyone i mean yeah i'm definitely with that man sneakers app is definitely not the best app right now sneakers app has been super super bad it's been attacked by a whole bunch of bots recently personally i can't catch anything on there anymore i just don't know what happened like before a couple years ago it was working pretty well nowadays it's just like a bot infested place and i just feel like they can't get it right and then hannah btw actually has like a solution over here which i did not know about and i actually had to research she said a company did it recently use your heartbeat to enter raffles no more bots and i did not know what the heck that was so I looked it up, you know, I did my research and I found this over here. You guys can read this article where basically a company implemented like this thing where you had to actually show that you're connected to your app or whatever and it shows that you actually have a human heartbeat going on. It connects to like the fitness app or something and then from there it shows that you guys have a heartbeat. I'm not sure if like every single phone has like this capability to like monitor your heart rate and stuff, but that's one way to do it. I mean, that's not a bad idea because I mean, yeah, that would benefit everybody, but I just don't know how you can do it at this point. So things like this, that's a very unique and creative idea and if we could get that mainstream, that could be huge for the sneaker world. A uh, Hurt Boy Music says, a shoe with a wheel in the heel so you can skate anywhere. A la Heelys, baby. Heelys were such a great idea, honestly. Like, I think it was a very, very cool thing. When I was a kid, that was actually a billion dollar idea in my mind. Like, I thought this was the most innovative thing I've ever seen. You travel super fast, but at the same time, like, walking was pretty difficult. So if somebody can overhaul that, I don't know. I think that's still a good idea. And since I started doing, like, these untied ass videos, I get so much stuff on, like, fast food things. Things. like I don't know why all these answers revolve around fast food but I mean Felix might be right over here because he says Jordan one collab with Popeyes was is this a billion dollar idea I feel like everybody would buy this and it would make you a billion dollars real quick but for all of these answers that I saw that were like jokey and kind of funny and stuff there's actually a bunch of great answers that I think could actually make you a billion dollars like it could potentially happen so here's some of the answers that I thought were very very smart not a shoe but a sock you can wear to upsize or downsize your foot that's kind of a great idea man especially for like the guys that are like 8.5s you know those shoes are more expensive in smaller sizes so if you could get your foot actually to like a size 10 or 10.5 you could save a lot of money that way i've heard of people like double socking triple socking even to fit their shoes but for the most part it doesn't really like feel comfortable because you're wearing like three or four socks right so it's not the greatest idea right now but if you could implement something like jonas is saying that would potentially be a billion dollar idea in my mind because you could fit any size shoe this one was actually very brilliant because for me i do not like waiting in lines anymore guys like for sneaker drops and because of the quarantines and lockdowns happening like standing in a line is kind of like a terrifying idea you know like being in close proximity with other people for hours on end it does doesn't sound appealing anymore i would definitely pay somebody 20 to 30 dollars to stand in line for me however i don't know if i'd want to pay somebody 30 dollars for potentially getting sick as well so yeah there's some kinks to work out over there but i mean it could be beneficial to both parties whoever wants to make money could stand in line and whoever wants to get the shoe and doesn't want to stand in line could pay a little bit extra for that shoe so eh, it's an interesting interesting thing there's a lot of things that could go wrong with that like you could be paying the guy and then he takes a shoe and you don't have a shoe I don't know I might have just broke that entire idea now that I'm thinking about it this guy says if you have a sneaker that generates energy with the steps you take and it becomes a portable charger I think that is a billion dollar idea like think about it you're walking you're walking you're walking right and then that force generates energy to charge your shoes I guess you could plug your phone in right there then you have a charger on the go that is a pretty brilliant idea I just don't know how the logistics of that would work and then at the same time you got to think like either Either you're taking your shoe off in public to then charge your phone or you have to like 
plug in your phone directly to your shoes, which means you have a whole like long wire coming out of your shoe with a phone attached to it. That would look kind of weird. Ugh, man, I'm debunking these things on the spot and I'm not sure how these look, but still kind of a good idea. But this idea right here, this next one, guys, this is something I would pay for right now. Add an extension to Goat or any other platform where you can take a photo of your sneaker and it takes you directly to the shoe. Like, think about it, guys. How many times have you seen like a celebrity or just a person like walking down the street wearing a shoe and you're like, what the heck is that? I don't know what that is, but I really want it. And then you go to Google and you're like, red, high shoe, uh, white stripe, uh, Nike swoosh thing. And you're just scrolling through images until you hopefully find what you're looking for. Like I've done that before and it sucks. So if you could actually take a picture of the shoe or, you know, submit like a picture of like a celebrity wearing a shoe and then it spits out exactly what that shoe is, it would save you so much time. And it could just be a very potentially good idea. So I want that one right now. I would pay for that. I can't tell you guys how much freaking answers I saw where people's billion dollar ideas were related around Crocs. Like there were so many Croc answers, guys. So many Croc answers. People were coming up with like the weirdest things like Crocs with Boost, High Top Crocs, LV Dior Crocs. Like that would look disgusting. I don't even know how that would look. And then huge YouTuber Frugal Aesthetic comes out with probably the best idea. He said cake Crocs, but they're not cake. So they're just Crocs. Hmm. And then two of my friends actually gave me like really good answers on Instagram. Her billion dollar sneaker idea was having a shoe with one side of it being Kuma and the other side have a picture of Delilah. That would be a huge selling sneaker in my opinion. This cute boy on one side and then we got this girl over here on the other side. Yeah, that's a good shoe. That's a good shoe for sure. You guys would make a billion dollars with so much freaking bones. You guys would have all the bones and toys in the world. Let's do it. Let's make it happen. And then the final answer that I saw that's probably like the most relevant and actually a very good idea I think would be having a collaboration that's a little bit more unorthodox. This guy Easton says have a Tesla combination with Nike where Tesla obviously is blowing up if you guys didn't know in like the stock market world and just in general like Elon Musk is like a freaking genius and that combination with Nike would be a pretty cool idea man like Elon just sold these sexy shorts it says S three X Y like booty shorts basically. And he sold them for 69, 420, but they sold out. And now they're reselling online for like 185 bucks. I mean, there's already the Nike hype in the sneaker world, right? And then you got the Tesla hype coming in. That would probably be a genuine billion dollar idea. I don't know. That'd be cool. Make it happen, Elon. Anyway, guys, that is it for this video. You guys had some great answers and I'm really excited to keep this series going. So make sure you guys hit that like button down below if you guys want to see more. And whenever I post the next question, make sure you guys answer so you guys can be featured on the next video. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, guys, stay humble, stay blessed, take care. And I will see you on the next episode of Aloha. Shoot. Thank <laughs> you.